Bubbles. Welcome back to my channel. So, you know, we all want to be successful. We all want to do many things, but a lot of times we don't want to put in the work. We don't want to get rid of things. We don't want to do certain things. It's just yeah so today i want to talk about five things that you need to be giving up right now to really reach your goals and five things that you need to implement or start doing to really implement those goals and get to where it is that you want to be these are things that i'm working on things that i'm doing things that have helped me so we're gonna work on the five things that you need to give up things that you need to just stop the first thing is complaining about what you don't have yeah we all do it i'm guilty of doing it. you may be starting a youtube channel or you maybe want to start a youtube channel and you're like i don't have enough equipment i don't have the right equipment the lighting is bad i don't i don't have what this other person has i don't have a nice setup I don't, I don't live in the perfect place stop complaining and work with what you have you can't worry so much about the things that you don't have and allow that to deter you from even starting how will you ever get the things that you really want or the things that you really need if you don't start somewhere another thing that a lot of people complain about including myself is complaining about not having support from family and friends go ahead get rid of the notion or the idea that people are going to just start supporting you or that, that people are going to just love this idea that you have or love what you're doing because nine times out of ten that will not be the case and it's very very hard because you feel like these are people that I know like if they don't support me, no one else will. Let me tell you this, let me be honest. Nine times out of 10, the people that will really support you in your endeavors will be total strangers. When you find peace in knowing that, you really are able to progress and you can just do so much more. You're like, you know what? I'm not even trying to market the people that I already know. Let me focus on these other people over here that do support me and love me and not take it personal when these other people do not. So stop complaining. Complaining is the biggest thing that you have to get rid of because it only knocks you back and down. This may be something that's kind of up in the air for some people, but I would say get rid of like your grooming things like many pities, things like that. You want to focus more on where it is that you want to be. And that means that you have to invest your time and your money and your energy and everything into it. If you really, really want to do something and you really want it to go far, you want to put everything into it, you have to kind of let go of some things. And some of the things would be many pities, eating out, partying things like that the things that you consider to be fun or your cheat yourself moments and things like that don't waste your money and your time on those things just because that's money that you could be using to spend on yourself investing into yourself investing into your business that twenty dollars that you're like oh it's nothing is something push those to the side for some time and at first it can be kind of hard because you're like i want to look good when you start focusing more on like yourself and your goals all those other things you don't even worry about i do my own nose <laughs> it's just and that's a personal thing and i think that when you stop focusing on things you're able to focus more on your business and your goals really making things happen thing to get rid of right now and give up is negative people negative energy and that kind of goes into people not supporting you negative people the negative energy all of those things do not support your goals it's important to be able to figure out what's negative and what's not when people say things to you like oh you know they're just saying things to make me be better no some people really are just negative and until you're able to see that you're going to continuously fail you're not going to progress because you're giving so much energy to the wrong things for myself before I would look at negative things I would read negative tweets I would read negative comments you know and that was putting fuel to the fire even if it wasn't necessarily about me but that was negative energy even watching certain things that had so much negative things all of that negative energy kind of like poured onto me and in turn it made me become much more negative and I couldn't even focus on my goals or things because I was spending so much time focusing on the negativity sometimes it, it's hard getting rid of people who you feel are supposed to be in your life forever but the reality is that some people are literally seasonal and you have to know when their season is up and you also have to know when your season is up in other people's lives so the best thing that you can do is promote more positivity in your life and that means changing even your circle of people that you have and also changing your environment. Get rid of the negative energy, the negative space and all of those things and bring in positivity, bring in positive friends and family members who really are going to be there and ride it out with you side by side. They may not understand or get it and most times people are not going to have the same dream as you or even get it like you get it but just knowing that there's someone who's like, I'm just here with you, I gotta understand but 
but I, I'm with you. That means more than just having someone there who's pretending to be there because their negative energy will rub off on you even without you realizing it. Going from negative people and negative energy and things like that, one of the things would be to get rid of the disease to please. So I kind of feel like that goes with negative people just because those negative people and that negative energy and all of that, you feel like you have to do so much for them. You feel like you have to please them. You want them to be a part of you because you just want people. So you're like, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that they are on my side. If I have to compromise myself, compromise my goals, compromise my relationships, anything, I'm going to make sure that I do that because I wanna have these people. At some point you have to figure out if you want to please people more or or really accomplish your goals and get to where you really are trying to be. I know that was a big thing for me. Someone would ask me something or ask me to do something, ask me to borrow something or whatever. And instead of me saying no, because I know that that's really how I feel and that's really what I should be saying, I would be like, okay, yeah, but then I'm feeling bad about it or it's taking away from me and, and what I'm trying to do but I want to please them because I don't want people to not like me. I want everyone to like me. I want everyone to be on my side. I'm worried so much about people and it really is a disease. Pleasing a person and making a person proud are two different things. And just because someone is a good person to you or they've done well in life or whatever the case may be, that does not mean that they know what you're supposed to do with your life or where you're supposed to be. At the end of the day, yeah, they may be pleased, but when you have to wake up and you're unhappy, you're not where you really want to be, you didn't accomplished any of the things that you set out to do then what at what cost did you do all of these things for and that's something that I've had to really work on and like fight myself like don't do it you want people to love you you want everyone to be happy in turn your happiness is in jeopardy when you're really happy and you're fulfilling your goals and your dreams and your ambitions and aspirations everyone else that really is there to support you and really loves you they'll feel the same way that you feel because they will be able to actually see the pure joy that you really have because you doubt yourself so much and you doubt that you know how to make decisions you doubt that what you're doing is right you will listen to other people and listen to what it is that they want you to do and the direction they want you to go in so you really you doubt yourself so much that you like my thoughts and my opinions of myself they don't matter like I, there's no way that I know what's best for me so I'm gonna go with this other person and that's wrong so you have to get rid of the self-doubt and that's very very hard and I'm not even gonna sit up here and lie to you and say that I have 100% cut out self-doubt but I've gotten so much better and how I'm really progressing because I'm getting rid of that and I'm reminding myself and telling myself you're capable you can do this you've got this you are worthy you are going to make it you're gonna do it the things that you have on your list you're going to conquer them everything here is meant for you you're going to be in your purpose like things like that a constant reminder and really believing in yourself it's easy to doubt yourself when you don't see things happening when things aren't really looking up for you you start to really begin to doubt i'm super duper guilty of that just because right now things aren't happening for me it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen for me in the future so i can't start doubting myself i have to really really believe in what it is that i'm doing and also when people start to see that you really are believing in you you really are believing in your purpose you really are feeling more comfortable you really getting in that saddle you know you're really doing your thing the people start to jump on board and believe you as well but if you are showing that self-doubt and you're showing that you're not capable then how can you expect other people to jump on your wave too so then of course you need to figure out the things that you need to implement the things that you need to put into yourself so that you can actually get through those goals the first thing is learning to say no there are many different ways that you can say things like i'm sorry i'm not going to be able to do that or that doesn't work for me if no isn't something that just kind of comes out super easy for you or you maybe even need to practice it in front of the mirror but it's a principle and something that you really really have to begin to incorporate into your vocabulary saying no to someone else is saying yes to you saying yes to your dreams another thing that you must do is become obsessed you have to become so obsessed with what it is that you're doing it becomes you you know you 
live eat breathe everything about you is that goal is that thing you know if there's something that you really want to do you do as much research as possible you wake up you're talking about it you go to sleep you're talking about it. you dream about it you live it every single thing about it you just love it and you want more of it and you just can't go without it you fight for it every single day literally being obsessed with it you're so obsessed with it that it's just inevitable that is gonna come to you. The opposite of the negative energy and negative people is to have like positive people, have a small group of people that you can kind of bounce ideas off of, people that you really trust, people that are going to be honest with you and not like in a sense of trying to cut you down or tear you down, but people who really are there for you and really, really are all about like you and the promotion of you people who really love what you're doing believe in what you're doing not people who are just like oh yeah this is what you're doing so okay cool i'll just share a couple of videos because i know they're not really gonna go anywhere or i'll just share this book that you wrote or you know i'll share this thing that you have going on or these shirts or whatever you know they don't really believe in you they're just kind of like doing things just to say that they did it not those people i mean the people who are like who will be in the trenches with you the people who really support you who are there for you it doesn't have to be a really big group i feel like for me you know a small group is better than a really big group keep it simple with those core people who really really rock with you and you just see how things are just become so much more different just having that positive energy around you and those positive people around you things really start to begin to align so another thing that's kind of hard is getting off of your phone spend less time scrolling and more time doing this is the reality for so many of us we spend so much time like on social media which in turn makes us compare we waste so much time doing those things that we spend less time focusing on our projects and our things that we're doing and our goals and our aspirations get off of your phone even if it means getting off the phone with someone look i'm sorry girl i gotta go i'm sorry i i'll talk to you later like text oh do not disturb like everything you can get to that at some point but you have to get off your phone there's no way that you can be on your phone and also focusing on something else your phone is a distraction it distracts you from where you really are meant to be that what you're supposed to be doing get off the phone the last thing that i would say is to give yourself ultimatums so for me you know i would make these lists and things and not even accomplish them that was such a waste of time now i give myself ultimatums like okay i want to complete this thing by this particular date I write it down I put it in my phone I set reminders and everything I know for myself I don't like to disappoint myself I don't know about you but if you don't like to disappoint yourself set an ultimatum and you will do whatever it takes to make sure that you get there and that's the one thing that I think has kind of like changed for me and changed things for me is like I'm, I put it out there in the atmosphere so I kind of feel like everybody knows even though people don't know but because it's out there I'm like I have to do it I have to live up to it I have to make that happen so yeah that is it for me for the things that you need to implement the things that you need to get rid of I hope that this helped you guys and I want to see you guys really conquer and, and just get out here and, and make your goals happen let me know some of your goals down below and I will see you guys in the next next video. Peace.